trying to accomplish with this move you're making right now, this transition that you're in? My biggest move right now is trying to uh, change as many minds that look like us into the, back into the Afrocentric mindset opposed to the Eurocentric mindset. Like everything we're talking about right now, like he was just saying, after he jumps on that grenade, who's going to follow him? We're so trained and it's so embedded to have that Eurocentric mindset that I'm worried about myself, worry about me, worry about mine, worry about mine. I'm not going to help nobody else who look like me build up when everybody else do it but us. When you make, when you've made over a hundred million dollars in your career, right? Is 105 going to change? 110 going to change your lifestyle? Realistically. You know how many people you can change lifestyle with $10 million in our hood? In our communities? I tell I, we were in the lockout. We were in, the, uh, not the lockout, but we were in the, uh, in the bubble. George Floyd happens. That's right. We stopped playing. We in, we're in there. We go, oh, we're going we to ask the owners for it. We're going to ask the owners for it. Stop asking them for shit. Huh. What are we asking them for? I went down the line. No bullshit. And you, you can show, you can show, you can ask these dudes if not. I got Paul George sitting right here. I got DeMar DeRosa sitting right here. I got Russell Westbrook sitting right here. I'm literally sitting next to all of these dudes who are LA guys. I'm like, bro, I'm not counting your chips, but everybody else is. So you make 200, you make 200, you make 175, you make 150, you make 180. Why don't y'all have your own gym? Why we gotta go to, why we gotta go to UCLA to work out in LA every time? You got your own. You got y'all all come from the exact same community. You want you you want to inspire kids that look like you. All it takes is five of us. Five. 250, 250, 250, 250, 250, 250. What bank gonna turn us down? We about to build this whole shit out for our community. We are gonna build gyms, rec centers, start leagues, and all. Of that. Who gonna, who's gonna stop us? We got the money. We don't have the mindset. Our mindset, we'd rather go throw $60,000 in, in, in the club, in the strip club. Go throw $60,000 than go feed 2,500 people in the hood. Think about it. I've done it. I've been, I, can't, I can't sit here and be like, oh, man, I'm a hypocrite. I've done this myself. I've thrown money in the club, literally, blindlessly, aimlessly drunk at a ball. And now I sit back like, I'm a stupid ass. I could have fed my whole community 10 times over with the money. I was just late on the bus. Right. Because I'm so wrapped into me. I got that Eurocentric mindset. I need this designer jacket. I need these jeans. I need this book bag. I need to be looking like this because the vets got this. Thing. I'm pushing this car. I'm doing. Why? Who am I impressing? I'm not even fulfilled with me. When, when, did, when, 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 did, that, when did that click for you? It clicked for me. Probably the year after we won the chip. The year after we won the chip, I felt like I had everything and I still wasn't whole with me because I knew there was something missing. And I couldn't, and for a long time, I went through bad depression with it because I couldn't figure out what it was. Like, I've always had this mission because my parents instilled in me to help my community, help my people, help people around me, help people who look like me. It was always about the kids when I was growing up with my pops. It was always about the kids, and I've always wanted to do something like that, but I couldn't, I'm, I was tired of putting my name on it and not being on the, on the forefront of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of being able to, I'm tired of being a person to talk about it and, and not being a person walking that. Because I can't tell you to help out with this and this and that if I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? And I felt, I, I felt, I'm putting people, young brothers who look like me in a worse situation. Cause they looking up to you. They look up to me. So when they think, oh, this is cool. This is what they saying. He did, he did this and that. He did this. He threw soap on a uh, soup on a coach or whatever. They think that is cool. Look at what we glorify. Strip club, getting high, sell, setting people up, killing people. Like, look at what we glorify. And they put millions and millions of dollars into this. Record labels put billions of dollars into this and sell. And we still get raped off of entertainment. Right. So uh, uh, this is the why behind your movement right now? 100%. So it's strategic. Very. Like, my, like, for me, I look at Mike. He got his own golf course. I, I, I mean, I've never played it, but a lot of, like, from what I hear about it, it's very us over there. 
when he you listen to the stories about him going to certain places as Michael Jordan. And white men used to be like, can't play here. This is Michael Jordan. It ain't, a, it ain't about that no more. It ain't about the fame. It ain't about how much money you got. It's what you doing for your people and what it is. Because they got golf clubs, country clubs, banks, everything for them. And they let you know. It's not for you. We didn't build this for you. Rolex, Timberland, all, Gucci, Louis, all these that we wear, they tell we not, we didn't make this for you. Right, 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 right. And we still spend the most collectively on all of that. Instead of putting it into, you got your, what I, what I asked you about when we was coming from the bathroom. Yes, he yeah, he asked me what I was doing with my, my clothing brand and what we trying to do financial literacy for the, uh, the co collegiate kids. Why would I go spend $50,000 in Gucci? I could go 50, spend $50,000 on him and we can really do this. Damn life. Facts. My cousin went to the U, played with him and everything. Oh, you know the stories about him? About everything. He wild.